in this in this video we are going to talk about uh, how we save and retrieve the library data so let's look at um, how we do that so let me go ahead and uh, share the eclipse screen okay here we have uh, let's look at the user interface the user interface um, has the save method and you call it when you get the command to save right so you call the save method of library and if that works out you print one message otherwise you print an error message similarly to retrieve you call the retrieve method of library and then if the library uh, is not null we print an appropriate message let's look at actually how saving is done the saving is done as uh, you know through serialization we create a file called library data using file output stream and uh, object output stream is um, created using this file and you write out the library that writes out the catalog it writes out the member list because they are both fields in the library class and those are serializable so all the books are written and any fields in the book would be written so things like all the hold objects and the hold objects will have member objects etc so all of those things will get written and if anything um, is not written uh, through the writing of the catalog will get written when you write out the member list but what is not uh, covered by this would be the static field id counter in member that needs to be explicitly saved so what we do is after saving just about everything except that field we call a save method in member with, with this parameter output the object output stream and what that save method does is it writes id counter as an object to output this can throw an exception which would be i mean theoretically it can so it is uh, caught here and you return a false uh, to the um, caller which is user interface similarly retrieve we have the retrieve method here we have a file input stream opening library data the same stuff that we saved here and we create an object input stream read the object we know that we first wrote the library object cast it as a library and store it here and then we call the retrieve method on member to get the id counter back and that is over here we retrieve the id counter using input input dot read object it brings back an object we know that it is an integer so we store that in id counter and we might throw an exception if things didn't work out and that would be caught over here and it would return an output 